Ryan. So did I. Look, I got a sticker. Have you guys voted? I mean, if you haven't, you should definitely pause it and go vote right now. Go, right now. We'll wait. But come back. Yes, yes, that's more important. Yeah, definitely Yeah. Huh. Okay, you back? Okay, cool. I'm Andrew Cawthorn. And I'm Karen Walker. And you're watching Mashup. Here's our act fact for the day. The third practice electroacoustic festival is coming this weekend to U of R. This festival has been exploring the frontier of electronic music for the past seven years. To showcase works for instruments, as well as computer, video, laptop, stereo, and multi-channel pieces for taste. We talked to Benjamin Browning at U of R about all the musical goodness. Most people generally agree that it is um, music that somehow involves uh, electricity, that um, at some point the sound has entered uh, a digital state and is coming out uh, through speakers. What we present is a lot of um, works that involve uh, live instruments with uh, computer processing, live in instruments with video, uh, dance with, uh, with uh, electronic music, um, pure video pieces, uh, basically anything that involves uh, technology and performance is, is what, we, what we're open to. It refers to um, the turn of the 16th to the 17th century in, in music history. There's a real large and important transformation in how people thought about how to make music and sort of the mechanics of uh, how you compose and how you organize music. Um, we might be at a similar point in music history now uh, where technology has reached the point where it's, it's available to everybody, people are using it to, to make music, to recreate music, to present music. The first practice was the 16th century, the second practice was that new thing in the 17th century, and this is the third practice. Size varies uh, by year, but we get about 35 to 45 composers coming, plus anywhere from 15 to 25 performers. Well, you're going to have to travel pretty far to find music like this. Um, there aren't any other venues in the area that do this on, on a regular basis. This is music that really presents the cutting edge of what's happening in um, uh, works with uh, electronics, instruments, and video. Um, and you're not going to find it at the Richmond Symphony, you're not going to find it at the Ballet, you're not going to find it uh, in chamber music around town. Um, this is really the only place uh, you're going to find it. The festival even commissioned new work from Estonian composer Toivo Tulip, commissioned for artists in residence 8 Blackbird. Best of all, the festival is free and takes place this weekend, Friday, November 7th at 2 and 7.30, and Saturday, November 8th at 11, 4 and 7.30 at Camp Concert Hall at U of R. Thank You Space is a new DIY art space on Brook Road, just across from Gallery 5. It will exist for only one year, between September 2008 and August 2009. Thank You will host 12 shows, with a vision to bring good energy and inspiration to RBA. We talked to Victoria and Andy about their commitment to showcase artists from all over the place. I started Thank You with a few of uh, my friends, uh, including Andy um, and other friends. Uh, and I guess the idea was to bring some good energy and inspiration to Central Virginia. There's a lot of artists that we're really excited about, but who maybe wouldn't be very likely to show here. So I guess the idea was to create a space uh, where we could show their work. I think for Thinky, we're really inspired by um, other uh, artist-run spaces. I consider it to be an alternative art space. It is non-commercial. Um, it's not about making money. It's really about just putting up work that we find inspiring and showing it to other people. Uh, Thank You is only going to host 12 shows. Uh, so it'll, it opened in September 2008 and will close in August 2009. I felt personally like that was about the length of time that I could put enough uh, energy into it to make it really great. The show this Friday is called Technicomfort and it's a show I curated about bright colors and it features uh, work by a large group of artists. Uh, it'll include screen prints, paintings, drawings, embroidery, uh, sculpture. So it'll be a really diverse collection of work. Um, but I guess the unifying theme is that it's all very bright and colorful. To me, uh, DIY, do-it-yourself, means doing things with the resources that you have um, and maybe working outside of uh, a system designed to be about money or 
things that don't really matter. And in that sense, I guess doing things like a DIY attitude is really important to yeah. Thinky. Opening reception at Thinky Space for the new show Techno Comfort is this Friday from 6 to 9. New York City noise rock band Japan Panther will perform and cupcakes will be served. Come on, a group show about bright colors, noise rock by Japan Panther and cupcakes? Why would you not be there? Today's featured poster is the Election Day Blowout Show at Gallery 5, with Richmond political band Strike Anywhere. Also, brainworms, landmines, and stink eyes. Election results will be shown on two walls during the show. Nothing says it's time to elect a new president like melodic punk music. Wear your I Voted sticker and get a copy of this poster for free. Tickets are $10 in advance at Plan 9. What's love got to do, got to do with it? Well, uh, sometimes love's got a lot to do with it, as in our next story. Really? On Friday? Mm-hmm. Hmm. I'll have to check that. Definitely. But, till then, I'm Andrew Cawthorn. And I'm Karen Walker. And don't forget to vote! If you haven't voted, pause it, just stop it, go, vote now. That's more important anyway. Nothing says it's time to elect a new president, like me, like, whoa, I was about to say mediocre. <laughs> That's not what I want to say. <laughs> What's love got to do, got to do with it? What? <laughs> That's really hard. Okay, hard do it again, do it again. <laughs> okay, game face, game face. I wish I could remember the Tina Turner dance, and she like shake her head. And then like, she shook her legs, and she's like this. Cor Corey told me I was never allowed to dance again, so I'm, I'm refraining. When Corey dances, he has sweaty pits. Yeah. And he's always like. Or no, no, it's. Yeah. Corey yeah. gets his dance on with friends. Or this.